Hi, thank you for tuning in. Today, uh, we're going to demonstrate a simple calibration of our SL7561 indicator. Um, and we're just gonna use some small weights, but we do recommend using heavier weights if you have 500 pound weights or 2,500 pound weights. Um, even better, of course, something that could fit on the actual weight pads. This is our multi-channel SL7561 indicator. It has four ports. Um, you could also hook it up uh, with uh, some splitter systems. If you want to add two more pads or two more scales at the bottom two uh, basically ports here your left rear wheel right rear wheel so the first thing we're going to do is basically get into the parameters and the settings as you can see the actual indicator does have some buttons here and some uh, icons pointing up and down left and right so basically you press the switch and the print button simultaneously together and it will go to f1 f1 is your preset basically parameters uh, before you get into calibration, right? So you could get into that uh, over here. It asks you how many basically pads you have. One, two, three, or four. If you're doing a six pad system, then you'll be choosing the four as well. You go up to two, because we have two, two pads here as of right now. We'll press the print button. Over here, ask if you want to calibrate in kilograms or in pounds, keep it at pounds. You have weight in pounds, you're calibrating in pounds. Press print, how many decimal points? Zero, we're gonna keep it at whole numbers. This is your accuracy. Um, with lower capacity, you could drop down the accuracy. Um, these pads are, they have 25,000 pound capacity and we're gonna keep them at basically 50,000 pound as far as the capacity and 20 pound accuracy. Press print. Over here, if you wanna get into the capacity, you'll have to press the store button and from there it'll become a one go press print so we have them preset at 50,000 in case you want to switch them you could do so go down or up so we'll leave it at 50,000 press print and we'll get into f2 f2 basically once you press print it says which scale do you want to choose left front wheel is your number one your number two your number three and your number four so this is scale number one your left front wheel which is my left front wheel as of right now. That's how I have it set up. So we'll press print. Over here, you need to clear out the scale. Press the store button, right? And press print. So I'll do a countdown and clear the scale out. From here, your span, you'll need to turn into a one as well, right? For a simple calibration as of this moment, and press print. So I have a preset at 100 pounds. That's what I have. But let's just say you wanted to switch it. You had more than 100 pounds. You had 200 pounds we could shift over and basically change that number. Or if you had 1,200 pounds, fine. We could shift over and basically change that. So let's go down back to the 100 pounds that I have dedicated for this calibration. So I have it at 100. I'm just gonna put that 100 pounds basically onto the scale as of right now. Okay, I have the weight here ready to go. So all I have to do now is basically Press the print button and it will do the countdown. Alrighty, now we get to this section right here. This is if you are doing a linear calibration. If you're not doing a linear calibration, you'll just press print. What is a linear calibration? A linear calibration is when you're using two sets of weights, right, to, to get better accuracy and um, basically set another uh, frequency into the calibration. So it's like a two point calibration basically. Uh, or sometimes it could go higher, but in this particular case, we're just gonna leave it at basically a single point calibration. So we'll just press print and basically we're done. Now, if we were to repeat the same step with basically the second scale, we could do so, right? Make sure there's nothing on the scale and we'll let it do the countdown. Same thing, span, turn to one, press print. And I also have 100 pounds in here. So we talked about that. We have our 100 pound weight basically preset in here. I'm going to lift it up and put it on the scale. Okay, so we have our weight in there. Preset, another 100 pounds in here. And basically we could go about the calibration and press print. It's gonna do the countdown. And it's gonna ask me, hey, do you wanna do linear calibration? If I did, I'll say yes. If not, then leave it at that. In this particular case, we're gonna press print and we're done, right? 
So I were to basically you could exit out with a check and it'll show you have 200 pounds on the scale. Now, how do we do that linear calibration that we basically talked about, right? So here we're gonna remove the weights and now we're going to basically recalibrate the system for the linear calibration. So you go to your scale number one, press print, let it do the countdown. Okay, so we have a 100 pounder that we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna push that onto the scale. Okay, I have that weight on, right? And I come back to the actual calibration here. And I'm gonna press print. It's gonna do the countdown. Let's just say if I want to do the linear calibration, I'll press the basically span and I'll try to make it into a one to store and then press print. Now I have a preset at 200 here, but if I had higher weights, for example, if I had a 500 pounder plus that 100 would have been 600 here. So whatever total weight that you have in this particular section, that's what you're going to add. So I have another 100 pounder on the side right there. So I have it at 200 preset from before. I come back here and I'm going to pick up my weights. So we're gonna push it in. And I have my 200 pound weight ready to go. From here on out, I need to press basically print to save the information. And once I have that, the scale is basically calibrated. If I were to go back, you'll see it says left front wheel, right front wheel, it basically sees that 200. So if I were to divide it up and say left front wheel, it's like okay, you're at 200 and your right front wheel is at zero. And that's how you do that linear calibration. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.